At the beginning of the season, this was exciting, knowing that we were going into our 15th year anniversary. And so the Mavericks, being the longest tenured professional hockey team here, it's important. And it was really important for us to have a successful you know, season this year, to really celebrate hockey as a whole in Kansas City, but also to be able to celebrate in front of our fans. This has been a historic year, and it's something that, you know, pressure is privilege. And teams are excited to come in here and play us, and, and that is a privilege. The guys have earned that. We've continued to collect a lot of not only individual accolades, but we've broken a lot of, you know, 15-year records here with Kansas City Mavericks. On this goal, which means he just set a franchise record. After setting a franchise record in points on Saturday, the Mavericks set a new franchise record in wins. Tad O'Hare picks up his 150th win as head coach of the Mavericks. This is an incredible organization that has a bright future, and we have an exceptional staff. I, I cannot tell you how fond I am of our staff, from our associate coach to our goaltending coach. Um, those both men, incredibly intelligent, incredibly hardworking. Their care factor and knowledge is incredibly high. But Nick Potter, our athletic trainer, he's the best athletic trainer in the league. Justin Sturtz, our equipment manager, has done a great job with the guys. And, and that's the thing about, you know, when you talk about great organizations in this league, they have great staffs. I think one of the things that's that's important for our staff, and we talk about it all the time, is just is just really buying in every day to becoming better. You know, it's a, it's a cliche, but it's an important one in trusting the process and really buying into building. And we talk a lot about that as a staff and as a team, is just continuing to build. To achieve that goal with the Mountain Division Championship and being the first team in the ECHL to clinch a playoff position, you know, I think it's a testament to, to Tad and, and Riley and their vision that they've had and what they've been building here. Um, and I'm just glad to be a part of it. We don't talk about records. We don't talk about the score. We talk about doing things the right way. The thing that I enjoy the most is, is watching these players enjoy themselves, have fun. Um, you know, it's my 11th year in pro hockey to watch them, you know, be so excited about having success and, you know, setting each other up for big goals and playing in front of the fans at Cable Dahmer Arena or going on the road and shutting up a loud fan base. That, that's exciting. And as I am for a coach, that makes it incredibly rewarding. I think the one, the one thing that it talks about is our incredible depth as an organization. Take off your hats, it's a hat trick for Mets and Dreyev. Here's a drive, hat trick. And for the seventh time this season, the Mavericks collect a hat trick. Seven hat tricks, and, and those seven hat tricks are shared across the board. Some forward, some defense. It's just different guys stepping up and having a big night. Our goaltenders with shutouts, our goaltenders have done a great job, but that also has to do with how well our forwards are tracking or how well our D-men are playing defensively. And so usually in a season, you may say see four or five of those, but to see seven is incredible. You know, two All-Stars, you know, we're well, the only team at the All-Star game to have two players there, Max Andreoff and Patrick Curry. I'll tell you what, I was so excited watching them perform at the All-Star game. These are the things that really make it special to be a Kansas City Maverick and to see these guys have the success. And I think it speaks of the talented of players that we have here. One of the things that has been allowing us to win those games has been that, that chemistry and, and you see it with our lines right now. I mean, you see Patrick Curry and, and kind of the year he's having, but you know, Cade Borchardt and, and Nolan Walker, you know, those three have been playing together and, and the chemistry that they have. And you see guys like Max Andreev and Jacob Hayhurst recently playing together, add to the mix there, Jeremy McKenna, Jake Jeremko and, and Cole Koski and the chemistry that those guys are having together. We just have so many players that can play throughout our lineup is such a, a big piece to that puzzle and so having the, that familiarity with guys is huge. I've got three of the best goaltenders in the entire league hands down and I'm, I'm coaching them as a group but also as individuals and uh, you know the response from each of them has just been fantastic. The shot, loose bucket for a backhander and a great save by Kelly. His long shot, save Levantine, rebound loose, still loose, a mad scramble in front and a big glove save there by Kale Morris, a flash of the leather. 
great defensive core here and, uh, and, and really the backbone of everything here in Kansas City, everything that, that we do, we've, we've, we've built from you know, a defense first mindset, which is crazy because we're a team that scored the most goals in the, in the league. But I would say it takes some sacrifice from our guys on the back end because um, one of the things with our group is the way that we're built, our decor, our job is to get pucks up to the forwards and get pucks into the forwards' hands and to you know, do all the little, little details and the hard stuff that it takes to be on the right side of plays and to not ch take chances that we don't need to take. And what's been great is just our guys buy into that. And I think because of that buy-in, it's allowed us to be successful. It's allowed our offense to flourish with Jones and McLaughlin. Kind of everything starts uh, with those two and their leadership. But then uh, our, our ECHL guys, you know, bringing back Nate Konecki uh, and Theo Kelvis, those guys were, were great returners for us. And then some trades in the summer with, with Mark Duquette and, and then uh, Jared Brandt. I mean, both of those guys have been great for us. And, and then more recently, you see some of these, these new additions on the back end that we've got. Jacob uh, Brahani, you know, David Noel, the, what he brings kind of from that physicality stand for it and defending um, and, uh, and just overall just a really solid defender. And Justin McPherson, I mean, he, he looks like he's a, a veteran player out there, the plays that he's making. And so um, all of our guys on the back end, uh, really, really happy with them. And, and uh, you know, it's, it's an exciting group without question. And like I said, the backbone probably of everything here in Kansas City. You know, we've had several sellout crowds. We've had some great specialty nights, whether it be a New Year's game or an affiliation night. I'll tell you what, our guys love playing in front of this fan base. They're loud. It's a great atmosphere. It's a fan-friendly atmosphere. And it's really rewarding to give them a win. There is absolutely nothing better than when your home crowd is loud and they're behind you and you hear the cowbells ringing for every save you make and every every good play. You know, the, the crowd here, the support we get from our fans I don't think there's anything like it you know the the cable Dahmer's been rocking right since the beginning of the year when you're on the road you just don't have that you score a big goal and you can be excited but when you're at home and you get uh, big goals and big moments and you get that crowd behind you and and uh, uh, you can feel that and you can feel the energy and so uh, this is a great arena it's, it's special this is a special place to play and and it's definitely a special place to win yeah. hey. These are exciting times and at the end of the day, hockey is the greatest team sport around. You know, I absolutely love seeing our players celebrated and, 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 and get the achievements they are this year. But the most important achievement is just this team having success and really having success in front of our fans for the 15th year anniversary. It's incredibly special. This is a, an internally driven group that wants to have success and so I don't have to get them hyped up. We're all hyped up. We're ready to go. And so come playoff time, we're going to be ready to go. We have a group that is very, very uh, excited about what lies ahead. A group that's very prepared. The, the work that they've put in so far is what's made us successful and that's what's going to carry us through. And, and, and the same with the fans, right? They've been behind us the whole way here. They've supported us through and through. And, and we're really excited to see that continue and carry over through the playoffs. And, uh, you know, hopefully this is going to be a, a long run and this is going to be something that, uh, that everybody can be a part of. Thank you.